Hi guys, so far we have learned to use the dot op statement and the dot dc statement. So in this lecture, let us learn to use the dot ac statement. So what do we do in dot ac statement? We sweep the frequency. Now, to learn this statement in a better way, let us take an example of a low pass circuit. A simple low pass filter. Okay, so how does that filter look like? this we apply some input and we get output the input applied is of different frequencies and the low frequency is passed and the higher frequencies are filtered by this capacitor okay so let us just make our circuit diagram so what do we need I have already selected a new schematic so let's just go to voltage Yes, we do we need a voltage source even if we are varying the frequency. Then what do we need? A resistor, right? So let's just rotate. And I place my resistor here and a capacitor. What else? Ground. Okay, now let's connect it. So now let's name this resistor as R. I don't like R1. And this as C. Just R and C. Now let's say the value of this resistor is 2 kilo ohm. And capacitance is say 1 microfarad. So 1 U. And I say OK. Now what will I say for voltage source? I want to run an AC analysis. So I'll click on this parameter and I'll write AC space 1. Okay. Since I want to run an AC analysis, I've done this thing. Otherwise, we just mention the voltage. So then we click on run. Before clicking on a run, since we want to plot the output voltage, let us name that particular node. Now what you see here is a label net. Click on it. Now it asks what do you want to plot. So what are we getting here? The filtered output. So I'll just say out and I say OK. Now you can see this bigger box and a smaller box down below. right? Make sure that the smaller box lies on the wire and then you click it. So this node is the out node. Okay, so if I could just move this capacitor C. Now that's fine. Let B. Now this particular node is the out node. Okay, and now let us run the AC analysis. So what do we do? We say run and we say AC analysis. Now, what type of sweep do we want? decade number of points in one decade how many points do we want to plot per decade let's say we want to plot 20 points we want a smooth graph don't we start frequency so if you see our circuit let it since it is a low pass filter the low frequency it should be passed so I say start with 1 hertz itself okay now what should be my stop frequency well now I can put any frequency up to kilohertz or I can go up to megahertz too I just say let's put it up to 2 kilohertz now what do we put our aim here we will find the volt the cutoff frequency the frequency at which the filter starts attenuating the input response so how does that look this will be the response of our output right this is the cutoff frequency we need to find this and for this simple low pass low pass filter what is the cutoff frequency 1 upon 2 pi rc 
Now that RC comes out to be something around 79 after calculation but let's see what does it come out to be here. So to plot the voltage out I won't just probe like we did earlier. What we'll say I'll right click and then I'll say add trace. In add trace I want to plot V out so I'll say V out and I say OK. I have my output plotted. Now, this is 0 dB. The dark line that you see here is for dB and the dotted line that you see is the phase. And what you see on x-axis is the frequency. Since we are going only up to 1, 2 kHz, it is showing this range. Now let's change from say DC to linear and see what happens not much change but yes we get a smoother graph now let's see I change this to 5 kilo and say ok and run so it's 5 kilohertz you see the response yes I'll just keep it to 2 now by calculation we know that the cutoff frequency is somewhere around 79 something but how do you find it from this particular graph if you want to plot so what do you do you right click you take your cursor over the signal and right click okay you can change the color of this uh, signal also if you just don't like it but the main purpose to measure what we want the cutoff frequency what do we do we attach a cursor and I say attach the first cursor now we have two cursors available so suppose if we have two signals and you want to plot what are the values correspondingly so you can do that so let's just start with first cursor I'll show you how the cursor works I say first and I say ok ok now you find some dotted lines here and something has appeared here so what you see here is cursor 1 frequency x-axis magnitude here in decibels phase and group delay uh, we are not dealing with phase or group delay that is why the phase is not ticked otherwise you can tick phase so the cursor is suddenly attached to phase but we want to measure the magnitude right so I just keep it at magnitude now if I hover the mouse over the entire graph I'll see a number 1 coming up that is because it is the first cursor ok so what I do I click and then I drag the cursor ok so when I drag the cursor in the bottom right corner you will see the values changing here magnitude phase changing now I want to measure the cutoff frequency and cutoff occurs at what point 3 dB right so I say I adjust my cursor in such a way that my horizontal line is aligned to the 3 dB line yes that is it do you see the magnitude it is 2.8 something so it is not 3 dB so let's just move and make it up to yeah it is 3 what is the frequency 77.8 well quite close not bad so you will be able to measure the value at a particular point using this cursor method if you want you can put two cursors and find the distance between the two cursors and many more stuff like see we out I say attach first and second cursor to the same signal so I have this number 2 here and number 1 here so let's see mm, my 3 dB comes here where does my 6 dB come here we have the second cursor so let's adjust our 6 dB there yes it's around 6 we can go with it now what do we see here frequency 1 and the frequency 2 right 
and this is the difference between the two frequencies this is the difference between the two magnitudes so basically what we have for two cursors is the difference between the two cursors in the third group itself now if you were to plot only one graph say input versus output this window would be a little different I'll tell you about that window in the next session but this is one way to measure the particular value so I can just close it my cursors are grown and this is the low pass filter if you want you can change the values like I say resistance I say it's suppose 3 kilo ohm the cutoff value will change simulate and check yes it changed you want to check for yourself attach the cursor first cursor yes bring it up to 3 There you have 57 hertz. And after you're done with all this, just say file and save. We don't need plot settings save because we can simulate the plot anytime. So we will save this schematic. So say file and just save as. Since I haven't saved it earlier, I'll just call it as LPF and let me save it in my folder yes lpf save that's it thank you